Boom. So we've won the win at the weekend, first win of the year. The important thing now, I guess, is make sure we back it up before on wood. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we've just got to build on it. I mean, um, just talking before and, you know, you have to really analyse the run we've had. Um, apart from maybe Bromley, I couldn't say I was totally unsatisfied with, with all the performances, but um, I thought the last two weeks, even at Fylde, I thought we showed that we were probably on the way back, even though it's sort of, you know, the game, the, the longer it went on, dwindled a bit, you know, faded a bit, but then we, we you sort of basically have to keep your nerve in this game, um, and we, so we did a lot of work last week. And I think uh, we saw the benefit on Saturday. I was really pleased with the second half. I thought we played it okay first half. Probably should have come in a goal up. Um, good opportunities at the, at the crossbar and that. But, but then the players, for me, I thought kept the nerve. I thought you know we looked dominant for us again. Uh, didn't look like conceding. And uh, like I said, went on and won the game. And you mentioned before the game how important it was if it was 0 0 half time, even 1 0 down, to keep going. How pleased were you with the fact that the players have responded to that? And how do you get them to do that again going forward? Um, just by belief. I think, uh, you know, in football, like, um, things all don't always go for you. You need a little bit of luck, you need uh, good fortune with injuries and stuff like that. And I think, you know, a few things have deserted us. And that's where I think the whole place, probably lucky with the staff like you see and, and people like that are very good. But it is really all about keeping your nerve. I mean, we, we weren't, we've been topped twice. We're not, we're not in a false position in the league. Uh, we're where we are because we deserve to be where we are. I think then, you know, we've just got to try and build on this now. And uh, I'd rather go long spells unbeaten. I said before to, to, to other press people that um, if we'd have drawn against Dover and Salford, I don't think we'd have been that unhappy now. But we lost those games, and I, but I think on the day had we'd, we'd drawn them, I think we, we beat ourselves up a bit too much over over a couple of draws we've had, uh, you know, during the season. But I think it's more important to, to maintain confidence in football by going unbeaten. You can go somewhere and really work really hard and draw two-two. You can draw nil-nil. I don't think we should. Uh, you know, just discount it. it it's uh, and we should accept that that's what it is on the day. I'd rather take a point than no points. I suppose that goes straight away for Boreham Wood as well, where away forms the next thing to fix now. Yeah, I think we have to probably. Um, I think we're at the time of the season where, with the size of the squad now and the uh, options we've got, we're probably going to have to look at something oh, yeah, this week yeah. a little bit more tactical um, to get you know to improve our away form. I thought it fouled uh, up to a point, I did go for it a bit, thought we were a bit too open. Um, so we're not going to go ultra defensive, but I think we've got to respect the opposition a little bit more and stop them. Uh, we did that Saturday and then built on it and played well, so you know I think that's the way forward. After you've mentioned the size of the squad, it's one thing the fans are asking, they've brought in players during the transfer window, when can we expect to see them getting into the first team? Well, uh, it's been a gradual process, like I think we saw it with uh, Jason Oswell on Saturday. You know, when you sign players in the January window, it's not, it's not usually because they've been playing well or, you know, or, you know playing a lot, uh, which is probably more, more the case. So they usually come like a little bit rusty, really, and I think we saw that, you know, in the Orient game. So I think the last couple of weeks training in all of them has helped. Um, but also there's been a little bit of a response from, from players like, you know, I mean, Ricky, really when we were signing the players on, Pikey w w wasn't with us uh, because he was, he was having his treatment at Uddersfield and then he basically walked in the door with them. So he was like a new signer as well and uh, he's responded in training and played well last, last week. So it's just basically down to them. Um, they're all good enough. Uh, Stockton in fairness, he was well in the frame to start Saturday till... You know, as the week went on, he did less and less training because he'd had a, an injection in, in his back. So that was a tough decision, but a decision that had to be made. So if he gets some work in this week, then he comes into contention. You've mentioned the fact that Raquel was back and he is like a new signing. How important was his performance at the weekend? Well, it's just what we needed. I mean, he, he, he basically does what all strong runners do. He, he took, took us up the pitch. He, 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 Push the back players further and further back. Um, 
I think that's the best 90 minutes he's had here. We've, we've seen flashes of that, we've seen 45 minutes here and there, but that's the best 90 minutes he's had, and it just shows how invaluable. Um, like a strong runner, quick player, you know, c can bring to the team, really. Mm. He said that he's, he's put in such a good performance, so where does that leave Ben Toller in your plans now? Uh, just very much in the frame. Um, Ben's, uh, Ben's a strange runner, because obviously we've seen flashes of what he can do. Um, you sort of think ahead if you think home game, if you had Ben and you know, Ricky on the pitch, then then that that's becomes more exciting. But Ben's just found that adjustment. You know, when you when you sign players on and loan players maybe in particular, they just think maybe just think they're just gonna come and walk into the team. Um, that was never said originally. And uh, some players find it harder to deal with disappointment so you know, it, but he's been fine. I mean, he'll just have to bide his time. But he is obviously promising, and and then uh, the modern day football, obviously with the the five subs, like he obviously will come into the frame uh, very quickly as long as he uh, just adjusts to, to to how we work really more than anything. So the message to all the new players then is just keep going on the training pitch, and chances will come. Yeah, like it is to, to all players. I mean. I, um, you know, I spent an hour uh, on Saturday before the game explaining to players why they, why they weren't playing, um, just because I felt that was what was needed at the time. I think if you look at us now, we've probably got a real 20-man squad, really, which um, is strong, really. Um, which I don't think the club have been in that position before. I think last year, you know, speaking to people that were here, uh, the captain and that, they said that's where they maybe fell down last January, where they didn't really strengthen as, as, as much as, as we have done. So hopefully it pays off for us. Thanks so much, Ray. Thank you.